So think about this x square minus 11x plus mod p equal to 0 has integer roots. How many integer values can we take? It has to have integer roots. It means to start with the discriminant b square minus 4ac has to be a perfect square. Right. Otherwise, we'll get irrational roots. The root has to be rational. The discriminant has to be a perfect square. That much we know. So let's work with the discriminant. Discriminant is minus 11 whole square minus 4 mod p. This should be equal to perfect square. Or 121 minus 4 mod p should be equal to a perfect square. Very simple. So minus 4 mod p. 4 mod p is always greater than or equal to 0. So if you have to have this number 121 minus 4 mod p to be a perfect square, I'm subtracting an even number from 121. 121 is 11 square. So if p were 0, this will work, the perfect square. If 121 minus 4 mod p can be 9 square, that means 121 minus 4 mod p can be 81 or mod p could be 4. So p could be 0. We could have 121 minus 4 mod p to be 121 or 81, 9 square or 7 square, 49 or 5 square, 25 or 3 square, 9 or 1 square, 1. If 121 minus 4 mod p had to be 121, p would be 0. If 121 minus 4 mod p has to be 81, then 4 mod p, this value should be 40 or mod p should be 10. 121 minus 4 mod p is 49. I'm going to solve that separately. Or 4 mod p is 121 minus 49, which is 72. So, or mod p will be 18. Right? And then we keep on listing all of these. Remember, if mod p were 10, p could take two values. Mod p is 18, p would take two values. There will be two values for this, two for this, two for this, two for this, two for this. Ten values totally, plus only one value for this because then p is zero. Eleven values are possible totally, greater than eight. That is the answer we are looking for. If you are worrying about how many integer values p can take, then we don't need to worry about this. We don't need to worry about the exact values. We want to find only how many values are there. 4 mod p, what we are evaluating, what we are building into doing this is 121 minus this will end up being a multiple of 4. Let's do any odd number square minus some other odd number square will always be a multiple of 4. So 121 minus 81 will be a multiple of 4. 11 square minus 9 square is 11 minus 9 into 11 plus 9. Product of two even numbers will have to be a multiple of 4. Any odd number square minus any other odd number square, a square minus b square will always be a multiple of 4. The other way of thinking about it, any odd number square divided by 4, remainder is always 1. So remainder 1, remainder 1, knock it off, remainder will be 0. So we, we know that for each of these values of 121 minus 4 mod p, there is one value for mod p and two values for p. Therefore, there will be 10 plus 1, 11 different values for p positive possible. So, answer choice is t. Right. Simple idea. It has to have rational roots or integer roots. The discriminant has to be a perfect square and then build from there.